so this is the electric surfboard project. Um, I'm just going to give an overview of all the components. So pretty much what you would need to build one. Uh, so first, the main thing, you have the two jet drives. Uh, I can give a undercarriage look at those. Maybe get, a, maybe get an angle from there. So these I got off, uh, got off eBay. I can put the link to those in the description. Uh, then the next thing, I have two 400 amp flyer ESCs, both programmable. And I just wanted these because these are fully watertight. So I don't have to worry about them ever failing if any water ever gets into this. And uh, I'm never going to pull 400 amps, so I don't have to worry about them ever blowing. Uh, the next are the motors. They are two SSS 156-123s. They're 230 kV each. So, on, and they're maxed at like 155 volts, so 15 kilowatts max. I'm only going to be getting them to around 4.8 or 4.5 to 5 volts or 5 watts kilowatts each uh, so around 10 kilowatts total the next uh, component is the receiver and the transmitter which is a i guess it doesn't have but it's a maytech v2 this is a fully watertight nano coated uh, transmitter and the receiver i have is in this little box but I'm not going to open it because it's not supposed to get wet, so it's sealed in there. The next thing is um, power to the receiver. So to that, I'm doing a little little 7.4 volt 2S LiPo battery here. And all I'm doing there is just my ESCs came with these uh, step voltage step downs. So this just outputs 5 volts. So I just connect the battery to there. Uh, and then that connects to the receiver to provide the 5 volt power. And the next is the batteries. So the last thing I have is four 12 amp hour, six cells, uh, Turnigy batteries. They're pretty good. Uh, they're gonna last quite a while since I'm gonna have two in series, one for each motor. So I'm gonna have around 50 volts total of full charge, uh, 12 amp hours. If I'm running the motors at full load, that's about eight minutes of runtime calculated. I haven't tested that yet. Um, and that's that's about overview. The box is a Pelican Pelican Air 1506, and I just modified that uh, using some normal cutting tools to cut out all the holes on the bottom and the holes in the back that are required. And that's uh, but that's about the overview for the electronic box.